Okay, so now after our sample is hot mounted, we need to remove this uh, resin off of the surface. So we're gonna do two sequential grinding steps. This is a 120 grit silicon carbide belt and a 240 silicon carbide belt. The extra belts are located underneath here. Um, this is a two-step button, so the first pull will move the belts. If you pull it out um, more, it will start the water circulation. You need water circulation to prevent your sample from overheating. Um, what we're going to do is, since this belt is very rough, it will cause friction and tend to pull the front of the sample down, um, and you don't want that. Uh, often, like beginner uh, sophomores, will will create facets in their samples by um, allowing the front to have friction and get pulled down. So we'll only do that for a, a short period of time. Um, and we'll check that the resin is uncovered, the scratches are all in one direction. When we switch it to the next belt, we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. This one won't take so long. Um, and we don't have uh, as rough a grit, so we don't have to worry about those facets being created there. All right, so we'll pull this out twice to start. Note the water is flowing. Hold this down for only about eight to ten seconds. Right? I feel like that's okay. You should feel a little bit of friction there. You can wipe it off with your finger and see everything's uncovered. At this point, you can also uh, round off these sharp edges to prevent your polishing wheel from getting cut up. Maybe just three times around, you can see that there's a little bevel on that edge now. Okay, so then we're going to turn 90 degrees. So hold your scratches across and put it on the next belt. You want to feel the friction of the belt. We want to make sure that you don't see scratches from the previous direction on your sample, and now we're ready to go to the smaller wheels.